I get an iced, um, where did it go? A pecan crunch oat milk latte? Thanks so much. Thanks so much. You too. Welcome, or welcome back to my channel if you've never been here before. Abigail or Gigi, just not Abby. What's that? Oh. This is a lot. I don't know if I brought home enough Oreos, guys. It's time for another glow up, and fall is honestly like one of my favorite seasons, so anything that I can do with fall as the excuse, I will do. So doing a fall glow up felt very appropriate for this time of year. So we're gonna be doing a fall glow up and we're gonna be starting with my hair. I put my hair up so you can see. I will try and show you before when I get inside the salon. I'm not almost honestly sure how much vlogging inside I will be doing because I don't like filming in public. But I'm going to try to be matching my ends to my natural color, which if you don't know, my natural color is like a dark blonde, almost like a gray blonde. Like it doesn't look like a normal dark blonde that's kind of just like light brown. It looks grayish to me, I don't know. I think it's kind of a cool color and I've been really wanting to go back to my natural color, so we're gonna try that. doesn't look that different and I feel like it looks even less different on camera than it does in real life. In real life it definitely looks different. Actually it does kind of look more brown on camera. I don't know. I want to show you guys what I got from Sephora because I got some things that I've been sitting on for a long time now. So we did some damage. I didn't get the biggest bag but there's some <laughs> things are packed in here. First thing I got that again I've been wanting for so long and I finally got it was the Kerastase Nutritive Nutri Supplement Scalp Serum. And I mentioned this in another video and I've, I've kind of gotten like my filming orders like mixed up and stuff like that. So I kind of have been wanting to try scalp cycling, which is similar to face cycling, but for your scalp. I don't know, it just kind of started to like not make sense to me that's like when I wash my scalp and my hair, I never moisturize my scalp. And I've never had an issue with like a dry scalp, but I just kind of wanted to see if moisturizing my scalp and nourishing my scalp would like make a difference in my hair care. I feel like it would, maybe not, I don't know. And then kind of to go along with that, I got the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Exfoliating Toner, which one of my favorite YouTubers, I, her first name is Kira, I don't remember her last name, but she's absolutely amazing. She really recommended this for like your whole body. I use different, I use like a physical exfoliant for my whole body. I'm not really a fan of chemical exfoliants like for my skin, but I've heard really great things about this when used on your scalp. And again, trying to like do a little more, invest a little more in like scalp care and just see if that makes a difference. And then I finally got the Sol de Janeiro spray leave-in conditioner. I'm making myself wait to bust this open until I finish my current leave-in conditioner that I have, which I think is by 11. But I literally just bought this for the smell. I have no idea if this is actually a good product. I feel like it's at least decent because it's like a Sephora, but I have no idea if this is actually good. So, um, mom, if you're watching this, I you can't get this at a professional supply house. I already looked, so don't, don't be mad at me for buying this hair product. I also got some foundation. I am not a foundation girly and honestly have like not been a foundation girly for a long time, if ever. I think like in middle school, I like got really into foundation when like I was finally allowed to wear makeup. When was I allowed to wear makeup actually? I think I was older than middle school. But I've kind of been like re-getting into it. I don't know. So I just got the Sephora brand. I got a couple of the Dr. Jart face masks. I got the sheet masks because I have used the like bio rubber, rubber cryo masks that I do really enjoy, but I feel like there's just so much product in there that it's like a waste. Like I feel like if I use the whole tube of gel or product or whatever, it's just like so much like my skin can't absorb it all. So I've been getting their sheet masks instead, which I have been liking um, a lot better. I got the Ordinary, their Lash and Brow Peptide Serum, which I have used this before. This is just a refill. I use that on my lashes in the morning and then I use the Grande Cosmetics um, at nighttime. 
This was another splurge, but it's the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. Again, this is my favorite scent in the whole entire world. It is so delicious, so amazing. So I finally got the lotion. I was gonna also get their just like normal lotion. It's like not, like the purple one in the purple jar that just is not scented and just normal, but I just decided to get this one because like I still have some like normal body lotion and body oils and stuff that I can use. And then this I would use just like over top as like paired with my perfume and deodorant and hairspray and stuff like that. The last thing that I got is the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Contour Duo Palette. And again, I am so excited for this. You can't get this in Sephora. This was, this one and the Care Sauce I actually ordered online, but this is not sold in any of the Sephora's by my house. I have been looking at this for so long, and so I finally got it. I'm so excited to use it. And it's a cream, which I tend to prefer creams to powders. I just feel like creams give you more of a like natural finish. They're easier to blend. They're kind of easier to control. I don't know. I'm not really a makeup guru, so I don't I don't really know what I'm talking about, but oh we are not focusing today. Focus, please. I also forgot to show you guys I got a second piercing, a second lobe piercing, which I had been thinking about doing for a while, and one of the things that like and I am actually planning on filming a video about it, but one of the things that I've been like working on recently is like my overall aesthetic and like one of the styles that I have been leaning toward is like the quiet luxury, um, old money, just clean classic feminine look. And one of the things that I had noticed about all of those styles is that a lot of women have double piercings and they have the like different size hoops and it just looks so pretty and feminine and delicate and so I kind of wanted to do that. So. Obviously, I have a stud and you have to leave the studs in for like six weeks, I think. Um, so this is still a little bit tender, but I didn't have it at the beginning of this video. So I'm just going to want to address it that I did get a second piercing. But right now, got a ginger shot. I don't like ginger, like with a passion. I hate ginger, so I'm a little nervous. Oh, that is, that is ginger. Okay, am I supposed to literally do this whole thing in one shot? I'm going to need like water. <laughs> This is gonna be interesting, okay. Okay, that's actually not bad. It's, oh. <coughs> I hit you later. <clears throat> All right, one more, oh, maybe two more. Ugh. I know I'm like gagging, but that honestly was not as bad as I was anticipating. Orange, ginger, and honey are the ingredients. Oh, and cayenne pepper. Okay, I was gonna say it's like sp like burnt. It's like spicy. Okay, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I kind of feel like sometimes like the whole oh boost your immunity by eating this or eating that. It's kind of a myth. I feel like to boost your immunity, you just need to like be healthy.
gonna do an oil mask now and i apologize that my nose is like so red i like all of a sudden started not feeling well and feeling like i'm getting a cold so my nose has literally been running like all day so sorry my nose is a little run but i'm gonna go in with an oil mask as per usual i feel like all my follow up videos are like low-key feeling kind of the same and i've been really trying to like come up with some new ideas or different topics and i have some like really what i think are kind of cool video topic ideas but they're kind of obscure and like don't know if anybody would enjoy watching those so we're just gonna keep doing like what i like doing and just kind of go from there i also know i've mentioned this before when i've done hair oil masks i don't prefer to oil the ends of my hair only because my hair is very fine and is prone to over proteinization so I don't really like to oil my ends um, with like an oil like mask. I will like put hair oil in my hair, but I don't like to do an oil mask. It's just it's too much for my hair, so I don't usually do that. I just got out of the shower. I was gonna film in the shower because I was gonna take like an everything shower. Again, I'm not feeling that great, which is a bummer because I've been looking forward to filming this video for a long time. But right now I'm gonna um, put a face mask on. I'm gonna do one of the Dr. Jart ones. This is the soothing mask, which my face needs a little soothing right now because my poor nose is like so red and raw around the edges from like blowing it all day. We are currently in the process of booking a London vacation and I'm so excited. I've never been to London before. I've never been out of the country before. And I've wanted to go to London for so long. And I think we're gonna actually end up flying on British Airways, which I'm really excited about. We were originally going to go with um, Virgin Atlantic because one of, somebody told us to go with Virgin Atlantic and then one of my friends who, um, her family, she kind of like alternates living here and living in London. Um, she said that they always fly British, British Airways and that it's like a lot nicer than Virgin Atlantic. So we're going to go that route and I'm super, super excited. If and when I ever get to a, the point in my YouTube career where I'm getting sponsored, <laughs> low-key want Dr. Jart to sponsor me because that would be kind of amazing. Okay, so I think this sits for 30 minutes. I've low-key been sleeping in heatless curls every night i've been doing unicorn curls ever since i discovered those curls it's been like a game changer i tried for the longest time to do like the i don't know what they're called just like the normal heatless curls and then i saw a tutorial for unicorn curls and it's like oh my gosh they are so much better i like to let my hair air dry though because my hair is naturally curly it will get very frizzy but having it fully dry works the best because then I just put it in the curler and then I like spray it with like a spray bottle to get it re-wet and then it dries and it's just perfect. This is the Kevin Murphy Killer Curls. Just going in with a little bit of this. I'm not going to put any oil in my hair right now. I will do that tomorrow morning when I wake up. And then tomorrow morning, hopefully I'm feeling better. Hey guys, it's the next day. I actually ended up, it's actually a few days later. I actually did end up getting sick for a little while. So I was kind of out of it for a few days. It is Oh no, it's Tuesday. I was going to say it's Monday. It is Tuesday. And we're going to wrap this video up, even though it did not go how I was hoping. I've literally been planning this video for so long, but that's okay. We're going to keep going. And it's actually good timing too, because I'm going to get my passport picture taken today. So we can end this video with like a nice little get ready look. I'm trying to decide right now if I want to do, I tried to do like an overnight blowout and it, it wasn't as bad as I was thinking. Um, it just didn't turn out great. I think it's just kind of one of those things that like you need to practice with.
shut off at some point. So now that I look like a middle-aged man, I'm gonna probably find, see if I can have, find some hairspray. I don't have any hairspray, but my mom does somewhere. So I'm just gonna do a quick little spritz and then let everything sit for like an hour so that it can fully cool. And then we'll start to work on the makeup. I'm gonna be going in with the e.l.f. liquid poreless putty primer. I'm borrowing this from my mom because I haven't tried it yet. And again, I don't wear makeup that often, so I wasn't sure if I was gonna like this and she said I could try it, so. And then for foundation, I'm gonna be going in with this Sephora Best Skin Ever foundation. And me, my mom, and my sister, and a couple of my sister's friends, and like my friends by extension, are going to London in March. My sister loves Tom Hiddleston and he's a I think they're called like stage actors where they're in like actual plays not just movies and he is appearing um as like one of the starring roles in Much Ado About Nothing which is a Shakespeare play. I can't tell if this lighting I feel like it's not the same color as my neck and I don't know if it's because it's the lighting or not. I will probably double check everything like in the bathroom or in the light when I'm done, but I'm gonna go in with a teeny bit of concealer just under my eyes. And then I've got like this little red, I don't think it's an active zit right here, but like it will not go away. I cannot believe Thanksgiving is in almost a week. That's just like crazy to me. November has just like flown by. And this is my favorite time of year, so maybe that's why. But it's just like, crazy to me how fast it's going again i don't know if it's because i have this window right here but i feel like this side looks like i need more on this side or i have too much on this side but then i look in the mirror up close and it looks okay and it's for pictures so i i think it'll probably be okay i like want to get just like for my own peace of mind like just a smidge and just blend that over i'm also dealing with some scarring right here i don't know if you can see that but I don't think foundation is going to be able to cover that and i'm okay i don't want to look like you know a f walking filter and i'm going to be going in with the tom ford and i'm kind of scared to do this but i've been wanting to try this product for so long the tom ford highlight and illuminate shade and illuminate contour duo i want to do like just a smidge of contour but i'm really scared and i've never done contour before so i'm just going to use the little tip of my beauty blender and just dab it like that mm -hmm. i saw this reel on instagram and it was like how to do your contour based on like what like how you want to like sculpt your face and there was one that was like a model face versus a baby face and i feel like and i don't know if this is true this is just kind of like my own insecurity i feel like like my face is very like sharp and angular and i don't prefer that like i said it's it's I don't know if insecurity is the right word or something I'm a little self-conscious of, but I've gotten comments before and they've always come from a place of like being nice and complimentary, but people have said that I have a super defined draw. And I don't know, I feel like it just kind of adds to my like square. I honestly feel like I tend to look like a man sometimes. I don't know, it's weird. But I wanted to try and do like the baby face contouring and I forgot and I think it's probably too late, but basically you want to do it like this. So like you kind of bubble and I wonder if it's too late. Let me just, let's just try it since we're in a, an experimenting mood. Like here, here, and then down a bit. Kind of like that. Hers is more dramatic, but I'm kind of scared, so I'm not gonna make it more dramatic. Blend it and see if that does anything. It might do nothing. Or it might give me just a solid brown face. Again, I don't know if that did anything or not. Maybe a little bit? I don't know, like I said, I don't know if the contour did anything, but I don't think it looks bad. I don't know that I'm qualified to film a tutorial, but...
And then for eyeliner, I'm actually going to do my mascara off camera because um, I just cannot do my mascara. I have to get like so close to the dang mirror when I do my mascara and I have no idea how to film that. But I'm going to do a little bit of eyeliner on my lower lashes. Okay, eyelashes are done. Not a great eyelash day, I'm not going to lie. But that's okay. I think in pictures from far away, it'll look okay. I might try and add just a teeny any bit more on these outer guys i think it's okay i'm just gonna leave it because if i play with it too much i will end up ruining it i don't have velcro rollers and i honestly kind of have mixed feelings about velcro rollers so i just use bobby pins to keep my hair pinned so i do not know how my hair is going to turn out my hair might turn out to be a total flop I am still working on the art of the 90s blowout. I love it on other girls. I think it looks amazing. And I don't know if my hair is just too short or too fine and like it's not heavy enough. Because there are other, like there's a YouTuber that I watch who has very fine hair. She's got beautiful hair. It's, but she says like it's super fine. And her blowouts always look so good. So I don't know if my hair is just too short and it's just like not heavy enough to, you know, pull it down. It just ends up looking kind of goofy. It doesn't look good. Dang it. Vistas Elixir Oil. I was using for a long time the like, I think it was Milbon's Fine Hair Oil and I absolutely loved it. But low key the packaging was so ugly. Um, so I got this Elixir Hair Oil and then my plan is once I run out of this, I'm literally just going to dump the Milbon Oil into this bottle because <laughs> i'm a sucker for packaging i found the prettiest lipstick at sephora the other day i went with my friend and it was like the most gorgeous color i loved it i loved the finish i swatched it on my hand and it stuck really good but the packaging was so ugly so i didn't get it and i was like that's this is like i do it's stupid <sighs> i might just leave it and see my mom's coming home she might have an idea but i think i'm just gonna leave it for now but i need to throw together a real quick outfit I can't go too fancy because they they like won't let you wear or they don't like you to wear. I don't know if like they won't let you wear um like prints or camo or anything like that. So I, it's gonna be a fairly basic outfit, but at least I'm gonna look cute. I want this one screw. Okay, nothing is calling out to me, but I think this is what we're gonna go with. So we got black or dark blue skinny jeans. I think these are Levi's. Boots are, I always forget if it's Fry or Fire, but it's like F-Y-R-E. Top is Brandy Melville. The hair is growing on me, so I think I just need to get used to it. Maybe walk outside, it's really windy outside, kind of let the wind do its thing. I'm gonna put some gloss on when we get there, just because I don't want to like, rub off. We're waiting for my mom to get home. Um, but yeah, this is the final look. So if you made it to the end, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.